Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Today we explore hypokalemia, or low potassium in the blood, by following a group of researchers on their journey deep into the darkness of the humid lowland forests of Kalemia, where the low ambient light echoes the low potassium level. Day 42 of the expedition finds our team successful in locating the elusive Kalemia Valley, a large dip in the middle of the forest and home to the rare chimps they seek to study. However, our weary scientists are low on supplies, low on energy, and particularly low on potassium. Yeah, they seem to have found themselves in a state of hypokalemia, well below the normal reference range of 3.5 to 5 milliequivalents per liter, as noted by these stray banana peels. They might even be less than 2.5, which puts them into the category of severe hypokalemia. Let's see how our intrepid explorers are faring. Oh dear. By the looks of it, not, uh, not terribly well. Low blood potassium has a variety of causes and presentations, and mild hypokalemia is generally asymptomatic. However, it appears the situation is more dire, and the potassium levels are well below normal. Our lead explorer here is experiencing muscle cramping, as evidenced by the tight ball he's crouched into. He appears weak, and may even be having tremors. Meanwhile, his friend... Wait, where is his friend? Oh dear. Uh, the, um... <clears throat> Snake here is helping to demonstrate that ileus can occur in hypokalemia. This may lead to abnormal distension, as seen by our <clears throat> serpentine sidekick, along with abdominal pain, constipation, nausea, and vomiting. But don't you worry, we still have one remaining member of the team. Now where is he gone? Uh, not this guy too. Our lead researcher seems to be paralyzed with fear. The weakness and flaccid paralysis you see here can occur with severe hypokalemia. His heart appears to be beating out of his chest, which should remind the viewers at home of the various cardiac issues that can occur with hypokalemia. These include hypertension and the development of various arrhythmias, including premature atrial or ventricular contractions, bradycardia, junctional tachycardias, and even VTAC, VFib, and torsade de point. I think my heart would be beating out of my chest if I were in his shoes, too. 